Hi, it's Pyam here from Niche. Hope you're well. Well, she's gone and done it, and uh, I wasn't prepared. Look, look at my scruffiness. Look at me here. Look at me. I haven't even had a shave. But she's gone and resigned, so I had to do a video. So I'm going to talk about all of this. Like and subscribe as always. Look, I've got lots of videos, over 180 videos on mortgages. But this one's about UK politics, and let's break down some of the things that have happened in the last few weeks. And uh, as always, I would love to hear from yourselves. I do, as you can see from all my previous videos, like to come back to you guys and read through every single comment. So I'll catch you on the main video. I've been away actually I've been away in the States for the last two weeks since I did my last video and uh, I've been watching what's been going on and I could say I told you so but in fact I will say I told you so um, and if I was better prepared I would probably scroll through some of the videos of me saying this is all going to be a nightmare these guys are going to do u-turns left right and center she's not going to last and I did say that in my video so if you wanted to go through it for the sake of clarity, you can go through my past couple of videos. Um, right, so first of all, let's discuss a couple of things. They're trying to spin this as if the people had a decision and people made a decision. There's nothing democratic about the whole of this process, right? She was very clear to the Conservative Party members who opted, who selected her, what she was going to do. She was very clear from the start what she was going to do. She told them their plan and they decided that that's the plan they wanted to go for. People didn't have anything to do with it. It was the Conservative Party members and the MPs. So that's point number one. And I've just watched the Sky News broadcast and she was saying that the main political analyst mentions that, oh yes, but when you've, when you've lost the support of the people, then you must go. Can I just make it clear? had nothing to do with the people, right? The people do not support the government, full stop, okay, right now. Opinion polls are all over the place in terms of where the government is, but they don't want this government. So it's got nothing to do with people. The government will probably carry on. They'll probably give some someone else the option. It had everything to do with the markets and nothing to do with the people. It had to do with the financial markets. The financial markets decided that they didn't agree with what they were going to do and then made the decision. So what this has highlighted is it's got nothing to do with the people and it's all got to do with the financial markets and the people that will control the money markets and they have ultimately the say. So all of this politicians saying what they're going to do, being principled, having a plan, the Chancellor having a plan, the Office of Budget Responsibility, all of those entities and the various entities and the parties and the um, cross-reference committees, all of that has got nothing to do with it, right? This is highlighted. The money markets call the shots. The money markets decide who you're, what you're paying, basically. The money markets decide how much electricity and gas you're paying for. The money markets decide uh, what you're doing on your mortgages. The money markets decide who your chancellor is. The money markets ultimately decide who your um, prime minister is. So that's all is highlighted. Um, and I hope you can see this now clearly to those people that are, you know, saying, oh, it's the people, the people decided to do this and the people, no, you and me don't have an option. You and me, the only thing we've decided on is, you know, what bank you're going to go and get a high interest rate on, which provider can you go with to get, you know, extortionally high gas prices until April and then who knows what's going to happen in April. Um, so next time somebody tells you about UK politics, send them this video. So we've got a really weird situation right now. So we've got a situation where we're almost like turkeys voting for Christmas. So we've got a population that are desperate for the, for the markets, for the financial markets to calm things down. So what we're doing is we're voting for more austerity. We're voting for higher higher taxes we're voting for cuts to our public services but that's what it means so basically this whole situation has highlighted to me personally of how things can be work how things can work so you've gone from a population that want stability they ultimately want lower cost on mortgages and lower cost and stuff but we've got 
round the circle through the media, through how the markets work, of desperately wanting someone to come in to give us some stability. Now, what does that actually mean? That stability comes at a cost, right? That stability will come ultimately as a cost to taxpayers because somewhere down the line, this is all has to be paid for. And what's going to happen is we're probably, we're asking, we're turkeys, we're asking for higher rate tax base. We're asking for our public services to be cut. We're asking for um, some of the benefits out there to be cut to some people, okay? We're asking, so we're actually desperate as a population because we want security. We're asking for these people to come and take this out of our hands. So um, don't be surprised about this. It's coming. We're, we are... Literally, um, we've voted for Christmas as turkeys. Next time I'm fooled into voting for X, Y, Z, uh, ultimately, what we know now is the money markets will control everything. So whatever anybody says, it doesn't really matter. Um, those guys make the decision. Uh, that's about it. It's a short video. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Let me have your comments. And, and then we'll take it from there. And I will try to, I am going to try to do a, uh, a good video on uh, the best rates right now because it's a bit it's, it's it's madness so best mortgage rates on a two and a five year fix and also what they were in the last couple of months and what they were last year as well so we can do some comparisons and where we think things are going to go but as of this video it's all over it's all ended let's see who the next prime minister is uh, and then we'll take it from there and i have just one more thing i've put a poll on my uh, channel um, asking people, asking subscribers where they feel the interest rates will be in the next one, two, three, four, five and six years time. Take care, all the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.